Hello everyone, welcome back for another set of video series here. So for this series, we are going to focus our study on creating an application that displays a list of products. So let's go from here. So go ahead and create a new project together here. Start from creating the application here and specify the name of the applications. I'm going to put lab 3 and I'm going to go get my directly for the flutter which is available right here. So let me copy this folder from this location. Alright, and then what you could do is you can come back here and put the directory of uh, the flutter tab select next and I'm going to keep this as default and then go ahead and click finish so as soon as I do this the system will start the new uh, projects structure for me is and in order to support some pictures here so I have already provided some pictures so that we can copy this into our applications okay so as you can see here finally uh, by the end of this tutorial, we should be able to display a list of um, picture along with the text information as well. So now if I were you here, the first step we are going to do is we are going to go and then delete this folder test like what we did here so that to make sure that we did not use the testing um, facility for now. And we are going to also go to the lib folder here and for the main that we are also would like to create a new folder. So now I'm going to create a new directory called asset. So this asset folder is going to hold our picture. So I can copy this picture from here. All right, and then I can put it right here, Control C and Control V, and paste it right here. So those picture will be used in our application but for now we are going to go from scratch so to go from scratch let's go ahead and go to main.dash and we are going to remove everything again go from scratch so the first step is to create the uh, the entry price for the function means and this function return uh, the function call of line app and it take um, material app okay and this is the object so this object take name parameter home and we are going to create a new class for the widgets called um, home page okay and it's going to be a constructor as well so now as you can see we do not have home page so go ahead and create this class together so let's go ahead and go to lib folder here like click select new um, does and name your new file as home page all right dot does now because we are going to include this right here so why don't you just um place alternate and enter on the keyboard and they say that we're gonna need to create a home page all right i think this is too much parenthesis take one off and we still have to import this manually we still have not uh, completed this home page that does here so let's go ahead and do this together so create a new widget here so st and then name this new widget as home page all right and also we can um, alternate enter here to import material dust all right and now when you go back to this Let's go ahead and create this one more time. You can see that once you already have defined the structure of the class for this, then the system would understand that this is one of the widgets, okay, user defined widgets, so that you can place alternate enter here and second one from the list, select this. All right, so now we just don't need to worry about the main.dust anymore. We, we are going to go work with homepage.dust. Um, the minimal structure that I want to go for is we're gonna have a um, things that look like this so I have prepared the PowerPoint slide for you as well so go ahead and make this happen alright so now we have learned that we can create the um, the columns that contain a different entity right here for example I can go ahead and return column widgets and this column we just have shouldn't 
and it should then I can say I can return text of Andy's text of Caddy's and also text of Amy all right and then I can go ahead and run this application on the um, emulator all right so let me go ahead and rerun this one more time so go ahead and all right they say that there are some error right here let me go ahead and oh because I have some error right here so let me look at main.dust and the problem with this is because I one two three okay I am missing one of these brackets okay now then it should be working fine I can be I should be able to run this application as you can see now it's working to run the Xcode view because now I am using the simulator from the um, iOS platform okay if you are using Android then it's going to build up the Android for you alright and okay and they say that they could not uh, build the application for the simulator so let me look at this okay so let's just refresh this one more time and it's going to launch the application on this okay all right now why we are waiting for this to come up now just to make make a quick review that we have a column widget here that contain three different texts that eventually will give us the structure that look like this now the problem with the column is that uh, uh, what if we have many items in the list okay let's say like hundred of them then it is not possible to support column with the scrolling function so in this case you can use the different one that is what we call the list view okay the list view allow us to have the scrolling function so that user can score on the screen all right so now in order to provide a list the first okay before we go for that let me double check to see if we have this one working correctly all right so now as you can see we have a list okay of this and if you want to put this um, to the left then you can also go ahead and have the um, cross axis alignment okay for start and then that's gonna go to the left now instead of using column we are going to go with the new uh, widgets that we call a list view now in order to create a list view we're gonna need to have a data for the list view first so in, a, in order to create the data we go to this class definition here in this position then we are going to create a list variable to hold okay um, username so in this case we have three different user so in order to create this user list variable just like in C sharp we start with list of now you can see that the data is the primitive text so you can go ahead and have the string list of strings and call it list1 equal to and then with the square brackets inside square bracket is going to be the data for each username so we start with Andy then we have Caddy uh, and then we have Amy so we got the list1 done right here now instead of returning column okay I'm going to go ahead and remove this and we are going to start from okay we are going to return instead of column we are going to return list view dot builder so this is the um, the widgets that is called list view and with the constructor builder that allow us to create list okay now in here we have to specify so let me close uh, semicolon right here because this is return statements expecting the function call and semicolon in here we define define how many items in the list and also define the function um, I would say the callback function to display okay um, a an item 
So imagine that each item we want to have a text, so that's why we have to register for this callback as well. Let's go from the first one, define how many items. Then we can use item count, okay? And then how many of them, you know that statically this one give us three, you can just put three right here, but this is not appropriate because in the future, if this list got changed, we do not know how many of them are there in the list. So you can refer to list number one dot length to get how many items are there in the list. In this case, it's the three. Now, the second definition is to define another parameter we call item builder. The item builder take the function registration. So we're going to have to define the function right here. So in order to register the, for the function in the us, we put parentheses and something like this. Now, um, this function also take two parameters for us. One is called context, the other one is called index. Okay. Now the context is belong to data type building context and index is belong to the class integer. All right. So this function will get called each time. Okay, this is what's going to happen. The first time you say, okay, create the list view for me, it's going to go and look up list number one and look at this, how many, how many of them? So we say three of them. So let's start with the first one, Andy. It's going to take Andy, okay? And then um, it's going to call this function and then we can render Andy, okay? So and in order to render the Andy, we say we can return the widget that represent the text of Andy. So we say text right here. Now inside this is going to be the data, which is Andy. Now you cannot just put Andy here because this is static. We already have list number one that we can reference. So you can reference to the list number one and then reference to the index. So here, this is what, what it means. The index here will be called each time they loop to the list. The first time they loop to this, the index value will be equal to zero. And this one will return the text of Andy that represent things that look like this. Now the second time when this function get called, they loop to the second item here in the list and take Cathy. And they know that Cathy is the, 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 the second index, which is one right here. So this one will return Cathy with the text. So we got something like this. Now the last one, Amy, here, the last index would be the third place, which is equal to two. So list one of two means the third item. So it create the text and then return this to um, the list view item here. Now what I can do now, I can um, start doing this and as you can see now, it gives the similar result like column. Okay, so this is how we create the list view. Let me make a quick review one more time. First, we create a list variable that hold data. Now, uh, whenever you want to create the list view, then you return a list view builder. List view is the name of the widgets and dot builder is the constructor that allow us to create the list view. And this constructor take two parameter. One is called item cows. How many items you want to render here? Okay. And we use list view list one dot length to define how many of them. This one is you have to take the function registration. So this is how we, you register the function in dust. So the function pass input up to input of them context that we did not use in this case and the index. Okay, we use this index because we need to return what data in there and we return the text widgets for each one of them. All right, so I'm going to stop this video tutorial for the first one. So in the next video, we are going to look at um, how we can go ahead and apply um, the paddings and more information to our application. I'll see you in the next video tutorial. Thank you.